Hi, my name is Gotham Zuffer, and I'm the co-founder of Savari. Savari is not a cab, it's more of a carpooling network where you ride with people from your own organization. Along with me, uh, I have uh, Madiha Hassan. She's a graduate in biotech from the GC University, Lahore. And she's been working as a graphic designer for the last two years. Basically, the idea for Savari came up uh, while we were bouncing ideas for for the Civic Hackathon. It's, it's A hackathon is normally a kind of place where, you know, just people get together, pitch ideas, and decide what they'd like to work on, and then go ahead and work on it for the duration of the weekend. So, uh, uh, Madia came up with the idea for a carpooling service. And I thought that, you know, it's something that could really work in a place like Pakistan. Uh, uh, however, we've got the security situation here, so people are normally uh, afraid of letting, you know, random strangers into, the, into their cars. But the thing is that if we could somehow uh, mitigate those concerns to a certain extent, people would probably take up carpooling. Because Pakistan is one of those places where you have a lot of people who commute and who rely on public transport. Public transport that isn't very uh, reliable or on time, or if it is reliable and on time, then it's normally not that pocket-friendly. So we thought that, you know, if you, we could introduce a carpooling um, service the way that we envisioned it, we might be able to produce a cost-effective solution that was more reliable and more economical than uh, the available public transport system that we have here. And I think that's how the idea for Savari started. We have about, I think, seven or 800 downloads. And of those, about 100 to 120 have posted rides. And that means about, uh, let's say, an eighth of our user base is has, has actually tried, tried out the service. And I think that's a pretty good metric if, you know, more than 10% of your, of your total downloads are actually willing to try out how the whole thing works. We believe that's a very positive sign. And because the service has only been up for about five or six days, uh, excluding the weekend, um, we think that's, uh, that's a pretty decent response so far. What we're focused on is actually creating, a, actually sustaining a group of people who are regular users of the platform so that we have a, we have an ecosystem or maybe a user community going and after that we're going to think about uh, monetizing the whole thing we have a couple of business models in mind but none of them have been implemented yet they're probably going to be about six or seven months down the road or maybe lesser depending on the adoption of the platform the punchline that we decided was that it's not a cab it's a form of public transport yes uh but it's not not in the in the you know uh let's say you call somebody and then the cab comes to you expressly and then you just sit down sit and then you know go to your destination get dropped off pay the driver and go on this is more of a kind of uh, community kind of thing because you know the other the driver is also from your uh, organization and so it's kind of like you're driving along and you're also getting to know other people within your organization it's more of a networking kind of thing and then uh, we're also introducing this feature of connections so you figure out how kind of like LinkedIn where you've got friends of friends um, so this way you can actually figure out who's been riding who's been taking who's been carpooling with whom and from there we believe that this is this encourages more of a healthy community focused uh, approach to uh, commuting to and from the work stream.